Tony. Brent. What the fuck are we doing here? Oh my god. 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 Ah. We are like less than an hour away. Like finally, after all this fucking time, we are less <laughs> than an hour away. And I was gonna say I've managed to not have the movie spoiled for me, but I have only managed to have the movie not majorly spoiled for me. I've actually had a couple of very minor things spoiled for me. I, I think they're pretty minor anyway. Yeah, I, uh, man, I... What about you? I don't think... I think I have successfully, somehow... I, I Like, I, I will say to some degree, I just turned my brain off for the last week at least, or at yeah. least five five days, because, you know... For, say you turned your router yeah. off for the last... Man, week, I actually did... You know, I would still get online, but luckily, most things I went to or go to are not things that uh, typically... Uh, show show that kind of stuff although man even just just see perusing like youtube or I something know, yeah. like you know people the the fraught the, with the, peril yeah man my lord i have I, I you know it's really it's ironic but i've stayed off of websites for the most part i have not gone to twitter i've done a little bit of youtube but i've been real careful yeah uh, I've not looked at any of like my uh, suggested for you uh, type videos because you know I watch sure. movie stuff all the yeah, time, oh, so absolutely. it's forever recommending in-game uh, related things to me. Yeah. Um, ironically, I did it to myself going on IMDb looking for something that I thought was completely unrelated. Yeah. But the actor that I went and looked up had an in-game credit and I saw it as soon as the page loaded it you know says oh this person's an in-game and here's the character they here's the character they play and I was like oh come on yeah I, I, so I I fucked myself a little bit on that and then the other thing was uh, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and she she was trying not to spoil it and she just she kind of slipped up and said said a little bit more than she'd intended to that was very minor that was just kind of related to like how much screen time a particular character has, but uh, yeah. it was very minor. There, there was comparison. like everybody. Honestly, the one thing I will say is it, it, it's we are in that time where it's it's sort of weird. Like if this were anything else, I think there's some people that would even just kind of be like, you know, ah, who, you know, come on, it's not that big a deal. Like you know, yeah. it's just a movie. Oh. Like people understand this is like like look, we we may never speak again. We we right. may never we may never be friendly again if you ruin this for me, kind of. Kind of mentality. That guy so, in China found out. Oh, he found shit, out how serious man. it is. God. Well, actually, you know, <laughs> I, I, I think those guys those guys went a little too light on him. <laughs> oh, is that was that where you were going with the story? Because I, I was like, I don't condone unjustified violence, but but, but, uh, but that was totally justified. <laughs> Ironically, the fr- the friend who who dropped just the minor spoiler about the, you know the one character screen time. You haven't. Spoken she to since. is a uh, she's a. A teacher. She teaches. Uh, she teaches like elementary school. Yeah. And she was telling me that in her class on Monday, two days ago, that everybody was all the kids were wanting to talk about it, but some of the kids hadn't seen it yet. So, you know, she explained that they they really weren't going to talk about it until everybody had seen it, so that there were no spoilers. <laughs> she said there was this one kid that would not stop. Yeah, trying not. to tell stuff, and Jeez. she threatened. She threatened to send him to the principal's office and, like, you know, write him up on a disciplinary action Jeez. if he spoiled the movie. I'm like, that's good. Yeah, you because see, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing that our generation never had. And you know how people. You know how people can be. They're all like, well, I won't tell you anything. Except I do Except, just want but, to tell you this one thing, you know. Look, like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you one thing. It won't. I don't think it's going to spoil anything. But it is the complete ending of the film. Yeah, yeah. And you know we and like it's it's weird the way that I, like we both know people. Well, one I won't name names, but one of them is you know it's an acquaintance we both have. Mm-hmm. Was notorious for this. <laughs> like he could not help himself. And, and I do think that this person because I think I, I believe I'm on the same page with you. I don't think ever. I, I don't think he was even conscious of it. No, like it was yeah, kind exactly. of like I think he genuinely like it wasn't thought malicious. like yeah, yeah. He but he legitimately thought that like this wasn't going to be a spoiler, you know. And you're like, but but well, and I will admit, you and I, because I think I think the two of us are very similar in in, in this specific area where yeah, we tear things apart to such degrees. We 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 have gone down so many paths and things like that that when we hear even a little thing like you know. 
Oh, wait a minute. They, they extended it from uh, uh, three hours and four minutes to three hours and five minutes. What, what could that be? You think, wait a minute, a minute? What could they, you know, like we'll take like some little yeah. tiny bit of information. Your, and Your imagination and, just starts running wild. And, and pick through it. And yeah. like, so even a small detail, like, you know, I won't, man, I'm not going to say anything, but hey, you know, just, you're, you're going to love this guy when he, when he shows right, up. You're like, right. oh, whoa, like, whoa, I don't wait a minute. That. I don't want to know that. Uh, yeah. Especially like, this is just a different thing. I mean, this is like... It is a whole other level. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially because of the movie itself. Like, not even just how important Endgame is, you know, to the to the cinematic universe and all that sort of stuff. But or to just, life. Uh, but even just the, like, uh, the fact that it's a movie about twists and turns and we don't know how it's going to... You know, right. it's, it's a little different from just, like, your atypical, like, it's an action movie and, like, you know... Hey, there's a cameo you won't expect. This, this, this I'm expecting to have multiple unexpected, unexpected things. Cameos, maybe, you know, maybe not yeah. necessarily cameos, but or well, I mean, well, I, you know, fuck. Every, every role in the movie is a cameo to some degree, I guess. <laughs> right. But um, if Infinity War is any indicator, yeah, I, I mean, just, just, I mean, literally, it's, it's like all, you know, all the people from yeah. every piece is, is is pulled together. So. Let's let's Except talk Ed a little Norton. bit. I don't think Ed Norton will show this. <laughs> you know, I, I you got to be honest though. Like, if they did some like alt universe oh, oh, version shit. where I, he does see? show up, like that would be cool. <laughs> that is actually awesome, and that I never even thought about cool. that. But anyway, yeah. Um, so <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit about speculation, okay? Because we've done some speculating with, sure. with regard to the film, and some of our ideas, I think, are. Are, are I, I think they're cool. Yeah. And some of them I think are actually legitimately possible. Yeah. Um, some are kind of like like wish fulfillment. Like, ooh, would that be neat? Yeah, but yeah. but you know what? In the big scheme of things, probably not. And then some right. were like, ooh, like this could really that be could thing. actually be like. Okay, so I want to talk like you and I were talking on the phone recently, and and you brought this up, and I gotta say like, it's one of those things like if it, if it. D- if it doesn't happen in the course of the movie, like I may be disappointed because I love the idea so much. But you described this you described like this whole scene where we see what happened to Ant Man down in the quantum verse uh, or, or, or the quantum realm. Quantum, yeah. And uh, and you know, like I told you that like I went back and watched Ant Man and the Wasp and somehow I completely missed there was this line of dialogue where uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's character says to like you know he's down in the quantum realm she's coaching him on the radio and she says oh watch out for these creatures and whatever you do uh, don't go into any time vortexes or we'll never get you out and I'm like wait time vortexes what and I'm like that seems like that could be a key piece of information and uh, so anyway we were kind of talking about that and everything and you said what if there was a situation where Ant-Man like he goes through one of these time vortexes and he emerges from it and oh shit, he's in Wakanda and it's the battle from the end of Infinity War and then take it away. So yeah, like my concept is that you know he ends up, he comes into the world, it's the battle of Wakanda, the the snap has just occurred, you know, uh, kind of obviously it's it's ob- obvious to tell that you know just everyone is kind of in, in disbelief of what's just happened. Right. And, you know, he's running around, he's talking to some, and you see a couple of people, uh, like, you know, Wakandans and things like that, and he's like, well, I- I'm looking for. I'm looking for Captain America. I'm looking for you know Tony Stark. Look, you know who I need. I need you know. Is there any? Is, is anybody around? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And they say you know I they they you know the, they were they were you know Thanos went that way. That's what. So where are they? He follows him over there. He goes over there. And he's like, guys. Oh God. I, thank God. I, I you know was afraid. I was afraid I wasn't going to find anybody. And then the people that turn around are like Black Panther, Bucky, Bucky, all Falcon. the people that all the people we that got saw dusted. dusted because essentially instead of so so much like. Dis, you know, getting rid of half of half of the universe. Yeah. Thanos essentially just split it, kept two universes. You know, with the with the complete you know set of of of, of uh, supplies. Whatever yeah, you want to yeah. say, like, like you know, it's resources. Essentially duplicated. And you know, because that's the whole thing of like having you know like we don't have enough resources for all these people. Right. So you'd have to have like you know two duplicate worlds. Right. But but half of each. Universe, but the point you know, is, was, like, was in there. we would see that scene play out. We'd see like the snap. We'd see and from the other happen, side, but from the other side, and on the other side, like Steve Rogers and Black Widow, yeah. and Thor, like they're the ones who got dusted, yeah. And from the perspective, from, of, of from those, that perspective, those characters. And I just, to me, I was like, that, that would be such be, a mind fuck, like that, yeah. or like such a cool thing. Because you would, you'd think like, like, oh, like I shit, shit like I, like I, we're right back where we started. I know what's going to happen, but yeah. then you don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, and, and, and it would be such a, such a change that you're yeah. just kind of like, okay, 
now now I don't even know where I'm at. You know, like now right. what what is going on? But that yeah, was that, that was, was my cool idea, idea for like kind of an opening ish to the movie. Is like you know, we open with Ant Man going through Quantum Realm, doing you know yeah. whatever craziness he's having to go through, and then he comes mm-hmm. out. We see that scene in some way, shape, or form play out that way. Because yeah. I just I love the idea of you know he can control reality, so he can do whatever he wants. Uh, he honestly is played not so much as a villain as much as he is just yeah. just committed to what he thinks is the right thing for yeah society yeah. or for the world whatever you want to say it's, the it's really fascinating to you know I, that was something that, that you and I had talked about after seeing Infinity War but uh, you know the, the Russo brothers and doing the commentary for the for the first movie and everything they talk about the fact that essentially the film is a hero's journey story starring Thanos yep and it's twisted uh, because Thanos is a twisted character and and uh, he's certainly a uh, he's certainly an unethical character and you could argue he's crazy and all that stuff um, but uh, it it takes the whole notion of making the villain the hero of their own story it's literally that yes yeah to to, to uh, and, crazy degree right so it you know, Thanos is a complex character. Like, he's not... He is not as simple as, say, a dark side character. Is that, you know, is that a slam? Is that a knock? <laughs> you know, he's just... He's he, no Steppenwolf. He's he's not. Um, and I'm not saying that... Uh, I'm not saying that that situation can't be remedied. But uh, certainly, um, you know, the Thanos is portrayed on screen is... Uh, he is... A very, very interesting and complex sort of character with, uh, you know, with, with a set of motivations. A, there's a nobility to him that's undeniable, and uh, he's uh, he's just he's not a mustache twirling villain in any sense. So uh, I'm fascinated, and the the thing about your theory, uh, or, or the thing about that speculative scene, that, that idea that is compelling to me is that it would it would kind of put everybody in this in this predicament where they're like technically he didn't kill anybody yeah you know like technically uh, they just ceased to exist in this in, in each dimension or this dimension, universe yeah. or you know whatever yeah um, and so it, it, it makes sort of undoing that work a little bit more complicated. Well, and, and also, it, you know, a little bit of the reason I was thinking that, too, is, like, you know, with uh, with Captain Marvel, you know, they did that whole kind of switch, switcheroo, whatever you're going to say, on the fact that uh, the Kree and the Skrull were sort of, you know, were yeah. role-reversed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who knows, you know, what they might do with that down the road, if that's, you know, right. they, they may... They may you know, we, 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 have, we have opined in a couple of times that I think that, you know, the end result of what comes after Endgame, and, and you know, this is what's so ridiculous. We're talking about it, and people that are listening to this have already seen it. So I know, you know, you're just yeah. going like, nope, no, 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 no idiots. No, no. Right. no, but but you know, in my in my thought is like, you know, we the world that will be at the end of this isn't the world as it would have progressed had Thanos not done the snap. It's whatever is created yeah. from the changes that happen to bring about the stopping right. of him. Yeah. So, like, you know, we may have characters who we thought were long dead or back that were that you know thought were fine or gone. Yeah. And I don't just mean from the snap, from other events. You know, like from from the events of this film. From the events of yeah, exactly, yeah. and from the events of the the, the past uh, of what's going to happen in here. Yeah, and so like one well, of the I, things I agree. I, I think the one I think one thing that we agree on we are not expecting to see a reset button. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be well. I, I guess in a way we are, but it's like a reset, but in a different sense. Like, yeah. like of. The, the world as we know it in this MCU universe going going forward is going to be patently different, in my opinion yeah. at least, from what it was. Not just because of the events that happened directly with the fight with Thanos, but in them going back in the past and having to change events to make it possible to Which be we are whatever. expecting. Which is, yeah, I, I think I mean, so. well, I, and, you know, like, I mean, they, they they flat out, in some of the trailers, I know that you have not watched as many as I have. Yeah, I kind of stopped after the, the, um, the two main trailers. In some of the trailers, they intimate that's exactly the plan. Yeah. But then they also give some, and this is, this is another thing that I'm interested to see, because for whatever reason, with this film of all films, I suddenly decided... 
because generally you and I are of a similar mindset. One, two trailers maybe, and we tend to go on media. We we'll watch like the main trailers, yeah. like the the trailers, not like the TV spots, the right. the, the the behind the scenes look, first looks, mm-hmm. and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Typically, we'll watch we'll watch you know. A couple trailers, and then generally we're on media blackout, don't want to see anything else, don't want to know anything else until the movie comes out. Yeah. For some reason, with this film, I decided, you know what, I always do that. I'm going to run the opposite direction this time. I'll watch everything. Old move, Cotton. That they put out. Now, there's a couple of, there's a couple of things to that. Number one, I, I felt like, based on things that we had seen in the past... Marvel has always been, I think, very, very good about putting exactly the right amount of stuff in their trailers and nothing more. I feel very comfortable watching media that Marvel puts out and feeling like they are not going to tell me anything that I wouldn't want to know. Okay? Or that they don't want you to know. Or, or that they, they don't, don't want, want me to, to think, know. Maybe. Whatever. Yeah. Conversely, or additionally, I also know that Marvel, over the last several years, has been getting increasingly adept uh, or adept at fucking with us in trailers, yeah. showing us things in trailers that are flat out not in the movie, are misdirection, are misinformation sometimes. Yeah, even even stuff as simple as just the way they edit together, making you feel like certain scenes happen at certain yep. places, and then they happen in completely different places with completely different like yep. uh, intent and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. So. I also know that they are getting more and more sophisticated at that, which makes me feel like, again, anything I see in these trailers does not necessarily mean that that's in the film or it's in that context or it means what it says or, or anything. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, or, or, it's, or that it is even not specifically misdirection. Like, like, yeah. not even just like something where we're like we're trying to kind of like like you know there's there was rumors leading up that you know they they possibly what's in the trailers some of it may not. Even may have been shot solely for the trailer, exactly. Just just to keep it keep things at bay or, or send your mind down certain other paths. Some of the actors, I think, I think Paul Rudd, uh, he he said, you know, during some of the the early press junket and stuff around the premiere, he said that he had filmed five different endings, mm. and everybody said that they had filmed scenes that they knew were dummy scenes that were not intended. Yeah. to be in the film that they knew that they were just misdirection stuff to be put in marketing. Yeah. So, with the level of fucking with us that mm-hmm. I think Marvel was rising to, I felt that was a bit of a security blanket. I said, I, even if I watch everything, yeah. I will still not know anything more than Marvel wants me to know. And I'm I'll, cool with that. I'll admit, when you first told me that's what you are going to do, I, I honestly, it really do mean this, I thought, I was like, you, are you fucking crazy? Like, right? Like, this is, this is like this moment we've been building to and it's kind of like the penultimate, you know... We don't want to know anything until we see it, kind of thing. Like that was my mindset. But the more you, 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 we've talked about it and you've said that, I do think you're right. Like they, they've showed, shown us what, you know, what they want us to see. Which yeah. you know, if and if anything, some of the stuff they want us to see is probably so that we are more surprised in the movie, or yeah, so that like you know, oh, we laid the groundwork for you to think this was going to happen, and but we're going this direction. And, yeah. And uh, so I, I can definitely see that. I, I actually am look, looking forward to after. After seeing this, going back, watching some of the other uh, content to, to you know kind of look and see what what they did rolling up and, and kind of look at it and say like ah that's okay so yeah they were trying to throw you off with that or yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. or whatever so I um, I'm I'm very curious to see how much of their marketing campaign was real and how much was bullshit yeah um, now I stopped I stopped watching things after release day. Okay. Because yeah, because at that point they do get a little more bold. They, they do. They, they tend to now. That's traditional. That that maybe doesn't. Uh, maybe that's not Marvel. You know. Maybe everything was going to be fine after that. But after release day, typically speaking, you t- tend to start seeing more of the movie in the TV spots and stuff. Yeah. So I, I stopped watching those those kinds of things last week. I also stopped. I also stopped watching. Uh, you know, any kind of like uh, interviews and press junket type stuff after release day again thinking that you know once the movie's out to the public people are going to feel a little bit more free to sure. talk about spoilers and stuff so again I've, i i, I kind of went on media blackout at that point yeah so especially like 
like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think you you can feel fairly safe that yeah. people are going to understand. But I'll tell you, by Monday, I think a lot of people That's are right. like, hey, you know, if you were, you know, if you were really interested, you would have seen you it over the weekend. This weekend. You know, not, yeah. like, not like that's always. And the here option. we we are on Wednesday, almost a week oh, yeah. after release. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's I'm at that at that point, I, I kind of felt like, all right, I got to unplug. And and that's the thing, like I I don't want to get the movie spoiled, which is why I literally have not been on the internet other than. Like just very carefully watching yeah. YouTube and uh, and checking email for the last five days at this point. I've yeah. really, really been trying to avoid anything. And of course, you know, I made the mistake of going to IMDb and look at me now. Look at me. <laughs> so I tell you, the one one place I felt that the, the one movie related thing that I I felt safe in going to was. Uh, Box office mojo, yeah, because I was, <laughs> right. you know, well, and and I, I will admit, I even like, I was like, well, surely they wouldn't say anything. That's like, well, wait a minute, fuck, maybe, yeah, you know, it's like in my mind, they're in my my luck, I, I should say that they're gonna be like, you know, well, because of the surprise ending where this happened, right. you know, uh, uh, such and such, uh, just what you need, sales were through the roof, or what, but anyway, just the, what you need. The reason I was interested in going to uh, going to see that was, I just wanted to see the the performance, and oh my. God, like it's one of those things. Like it's so weird. Like it's, it's like pulling for your favorite sports team to some degree. Yeah. But like even with that, I, you know, it's like we're we're pulling for like one of the largest, most you know, you know, popular, uh, 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 largest um, franchise capital. Well, I was gonna say like they're they're not str- you know struggling for money. Right. right. <laughs> like you know, but you're you're still pulling for them. Like ah, see, they're you know, not see, the underdog. Exactly. Not anymore. And uh, not like man, what was ago. it? Three hundred and fifty-seven. I think is what it ended up for the for the weekend. That's insane. Domestic, and That's then one point two billion. something. Like there was there was, it, it was over one point two billion, billion worldwide. worldwide opening weekend. weekend. Like it, I read somewhere. Like I think. You know, it took it took the MCU total to like 1.98. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I'm sure it, you know after the last couple of days, I'm sure it's probably over. You know, two billion at the, or a twenty billion at this point. That um, is and nuts. But but like it went in in its first weekend, it entered the top twenty all time worldwide. Yeah. You know, in in one weekend. Yeah. And I'm just like, my goodness. That's uh, it. You know, like that's the thing. Like it's surpri- it's not surprising in the sense that you know what a big deal the movie is. Like how yeah. anticipated it is by so many people. Like, it's kind of surprising to be surprised though a little bit of like you know man. Yes, I, but still, I thought this was gonna be huge, and it's some yet, somehow yet even bigger. It, I think what what it is is like it's surprising. Like you think to yourself like the movie's gonna be huge, but what huge actually means in this context can still take you aback. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's really, really been something. Yeah. So, you know, I want to talk about, this is another speculative thing. Okay. It comes from an interesting source, and I got to say that out of, out of everything that we talked about on the phone the other night where we were just kind of speculating about what we thought might happen, I still think this might have the the biggest chance of actually being in the film. Okay. I was talking with my 11-year-old nephew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we were up visiting family. He and I were watching Ant-Man and the Wasp together. We were talking about Infinity War and uh, and all that stuff and in uh, game. And he he loves Hulk. Big fan of Hulk as I think for different reasons, but the sure. same way that we were when we were that age. Of course. And um we were talking about Hulk and everything, and just the whole situation with Banner and Hulk in Infinity War, where they were not getting along all that well, and Hulk wasn't coming out to play, and all that stuff. And he was asking me why I thought that was, and he was telling me what he thought, and what they were going to do about it, and I just said something to the effect of, well, I guess that you know, Hulk and Banner are going to have to, like, they're going to have to talk and they're going to have to figure out a way to become friends and work together yeah. uh, in order to in order to help out, you know, their, their friends. Mm-hmm. And he was quiet for a second. He said, you know what I think would be cool? And I said, what? He said, I think since at the beginning of Infinity War, 
Thanos beat up Hulk. What I think would be cool is if Hulk and Banner became friends mm-hmm. and like they worked together, then like that would make Hulk like overpowered Hulk. <laughs> and then Hulk fights Thanos again at the end of Endgame, and this time he kicks his ass. And, and, like I, I looked at him and I was like, uh, that, "That would be that, cool, buddy." That that's <laughs> not only would that be cool, but as I sit here thinking about it, like that could really, really happen. Like from a, just the, the symmetry of the storytelling. Yeah. Like the way they set up Banner and Hulk mm-hmm. in Infinity War, the fact that it would be awesome to pay off, oh, you know, yeah. Hulk getting his ass kicked at the beginning of Infinity War with Hulk coming back for a rematch and Endgame. Like, well, like dude, like, be... that could really fucking happen. And like, that sounds so fucking plausible. Yeah. And I think it, like, as much as I do enjoy Hulk in the films, I, he has always been sort of ancillary to everyone else yeah. like what, what's going on and kind of been he a just, little one just note. started to kind of step out in, in Ragnarok finally yeah, yeah. yeah and so to me this is also a way of kind of giving giving him a new a new path you know maybe yeah. you know who, heaven forbid we actually get another Hulk movie again at some point and, and if it was not like you know, big dumb Hulk and smart Bruce Banner, but like, but like the you know combined uh, exactly. You know the because yeah. I don't know what they even refer to that one is, but like I remember like I think it was Dale Keown was was the writer of those books at the time when Smart Hulk, Smart Hulk. There we yeah, go, Smart Hulk, and um, Hulk with glasses, Hulk with glasses. But yeah, I like I actually really like that that idea. Yeah, I uh, some another idea I kind of floated out there when we were talking about different uh, potential things that could happen it was uh when we talked uh we talked about well so is who is who is is the hulk considered one person and banner considered one person right you know, like are they are they considered different people like we know banner didn't get dusted well and that's that but, was my thought was i was like what if what if the hulk is legit no longer in banner like right him him being another person yeah you know he he's one of the ones that got dusted and so it's like this thing he where through the whole snap. movie they're talking to banner and he's like man i i don't know i i think he's gone right. like you know like he's like like he wasn't talking to me but even then i could feel him yeah now i can't feel it i don't i don't feel and it's like this weird sort of like somewhat relief because yeah. of like the 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 inner turmoil that right. that it brought well and but also like, this like but i know i need him yeah, to get the job to get, done. To, 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 you to know. save our friends. So, like, yeah. I think there's a lot of potential for some of those ideas, oh, man. Yeah. Like, I, and, I mean, like, the whole thing that they set up with him and Natasha in Age of Ultron. Yeah. You know, this tragic, you know, sort of star-crossed lovers thing. And that, uh, that you know, he, he feels like a relationship with her is something that he really cannot ever have. Yeah. And uh, the idea that suddenly the door is open to that. Yeah, yeah. But then he has to choose but to close to, the door in order to, you know, in order save, to save the day. I mean, yeah. that would, you know, that would just be tremendous. That'd be tremendous drama. I, uh, man, I just, I really, I love this world that they have put together for us. Where yeah. like, me too. Not only is it just, like that's the thing. Like some other some movies we see, like they're like, oh, you know what? They could do this next time. That would be really cool. This is like, oh my god, they could do this, and they could, they could do, do this. this. They could do this. What what if that happens? Yeah. Oh my god, holy crap! They might do that, which I hate, but I love because this would happen, you know, or whatever. Right. You know, it's like. And the thing is, Marvel is so good. I, I mean, you know, as as much fun as you and I have sitting around and shooting the shit about what we think might happen. And the thing is, when the oh, past, yeah, we've done that with movies, and and the ideas that we've come up with, frankly, have been better. And uh, but, sometimes, but with Marvel, we, we've managed to guess. We've managed to guess a few things here and there with Marvel stuff. We managed to say like, "Oh yeah, I bet this is going to happen," and then we turned out being right. But yeah. more often than not, Marvel they, came up with, with they come something up with better. something we didn't expect, <laughs> and it's better. Yeah, it's better than what we could have imagined. And that's a that's a great sort of feeling of, of comfort going into these movies. Uh, is is that feeling of you're in really really good hands? Yeah, and uh, man. It's uh, it's so exciting to finally be here because we are finally here. <laughs> and uh, oh man, so, got about got about twenty minutes before it starts. All right, so any Whew. any final any final thoughts? Uh, yeah. Man, I don't know. I'm thinking. Um, God, I have just it's there's so many. Th- it's one of these things. Like right now, 
I'm actually sort of now, after we've had this conversation, I'm thinking, you know what, now's the time to clear the mind. Yeah. Don't be looking for the thing I'm like, hey, are they going to do the thing I'm doing? Yeah. Just take it in. Just take, take it in. Take it in, yeah. see what they do. We get done. We can look back at it and be like, holy shit, they did do that. Or, whole oh, crap, I didn't, I didn't even think of that. And they did that. You know, like, yeah. they, they just, this is the time in my mind to sort of like, you know what? This has been a lot of fun thinking what might happen here in a very short period of time. We're not going to be guessing anymore. We're going to be seeing it. Mm-hmm. So that's that's where I'm at right now. I, I'd say where I'm at is something that was said by the, I think by Kevin Feige, echoed by the Russos somewhere in, in the, you know, the whole press tour stuff. Mm-hmm. They said that every loose thread that they've ever run out in the MCU movies, beginning in the first Iron Man, they said every loose thread that they've ever run out, they somehow pay off over the course of Infinity War and Endgame. Hmm. And I'm very curious to sort of... I'm very curious to see what that means. Yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to think now if there were things that we looked back on, like, man, they never they never really addressed that again, did they? Yeah. Or, you know, because, I mean, I thinking right now, I'm, I'm struggling to think of that, but I'm sure that there were things... If we went back and be like, you know, oh yeah, I remember when they first did that, and we thought maybe they were going to go that direction, they never did. Yeah. Maybe this is one of those things where we see that. I, I'm very curious about that. I love, like, and I mean, again, I don't want to get too, because you almost feel like a little bit like, oh man, if they don't do that, I'll be a little disappointed. But I love the idea that this movie, in a in a quality way, like in a in a understandable, reasonable way. Is kind of like wish fulfillment. They could do whatever they want if they do the time travel and go to other dimensions or whatever type of things that yeah. might happen. This is the time where, like you know, like like honestly, I will say now. Now that I was joking earlier, but like you said, like they might do it. Like if fucking Ed Norton is in there and they're like, you know, there's <laughs> a scene where they go into the and they're like, you know, well, you know, Bruce Banner might be like, yeah, Br- oh, Bruce is here. Okay, yeah, right. like, and they go there and it's fucking, you know, I mean, of course he's with. I don't know, whatever. There's like. It'd be amazing. There'd be something. There'd be something to be said for like all those sorts of things. I even, uh, you know, I know they said that there was no connections, but like even that, you know, a joke of like, you know, well, you know, you know, Doctor Richards is stretching himself pretty thin over there, but he might be able to, you <laughs> yeah, know, some little, is. some little wink yeah, and nod to is. like, you know, yep, it's coming. Don't, don't, not, not now, but you know, you know, just, yep. just wait. Well, okay. Now that actually, that's a great, that's a great thing to kind of think about and end on. Is that there were rumors, there were, there rumors, were rumors before there the were movie rumors, came out. But that was just bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Before the movie came out, there were rumors that if the Fox Disney deal closed in time, that there could be some sort of like a tag scene or any, something like that. That would just, it would just acknowledge the fact. Yeah. That the X Men universe was now part of the MCU. Uh, I don't know if that's just if that's just you know fanboy wishing on the internet kind of stuff, or if there's some legitimacy to those rumors. I, if Marvel was forward thinking enough to say let's get something ready just in case we can put it in there, I'm curious to see if that I'll, turns out. I, I to tell be true. you, I kind of think because at first I was really on that page of like that would be so awesome. Yeah. The more, as, as time has gone on, and a lot of the things that have kind of happened in the last few movies, like, I actually really, in a way, so much is going to, just has to happen in this film. I almost don't want them to do too many winks and nods outside of the core group, mm-hmm. you know, because this is the last time we're going to have this kind of connection with a lot of these people, I'm, I'm sure. You yeah. know, I, I don't know exactly who and how and all, but, you know... You, we, you gotta know Stan, that. Stands to reason, though. So, part of me thinks, like, even though that would be an awesome little thing, it, it almost makes me feel like it might take away just a little bit from the other, like, you know, hey, enjoy what you're getting now. Yeah. Because that will come, and it will be great. It'll be awesome. But it's a ways off. Don't 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 lose focus on what you're here for, which is to, you know, kind of say, say, your, your, is, you're here to say your farewells to these, to these, these characters, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, I Whew. think it's time to. Uh, I brought two rolls of paper towels. <laughs> Thank God. As you can see, <laughs> if I ask you for one in the movie, you just tell me so, you've got your own. Okay. You All right. Son of fair. a bitch. <laughs> so, Tony, let's go let's, do this, man. Let's do this. 